All right, it's your un uncle Burpee Yoga. Uh, we're gonna try uh, Guamanian food or Chamorro food. I've had some Chamorro food before, but not the Kelly ones. So I'm gonna go try it. Uh, they're not allowing us to dine in, so I'm gonna eat outside. So that's the plan. So here's the food. There it is. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. It looks pretty good. It tastes pretty good. Uh, these are what is called Finadeni sauces. They are very famous for that. Actually, I know how to make those. It's not that hard to make. And then uh, this is their banchan, their version of banchan. And then, as you can see it, this is the famous chicken kelleguin. They use lemon to uh, marinate it. And let's go try it. So what I really want to try was a kelleguin. They put some peppers in there and lemon, and they barbecue half chicken. Try to cold. Basically, lemon chicken. It's very appetizing. The other thing they're famous for is their choti rice, which is their red rice. I think it's good too. It's good. I'm going to come out with the poison rice too. And then this is their barbecue chicken. Overall, most of the food are barbecue on the sweet side and tangy. I'm gonna go home and make the beef telequin. It's actually quite easy to make. So I'm gonna go home and get some raw beef and uh, barbecue it. I forgot about the finadeni sauce. So this is dipping in the finadeni sauce. So basically, the finadeni sauce is what the Calatron flavor is. That's what the finadeni is. Is that tang tangy lemon, lemon and spicy taste? Of course, they have other Chamorro food too, but that's what they're mostly famous for: the finadeni and their telegram. Hmm. I want some finadeni on the rice. I think I just put, I can eat vinadini on anything. I know, it tastes good. It's like um, another variation of island style barbecue made famous by the Hawaiians with a Hawaiian barbecue but uh, it's a little bit more on the tangy side.
Good choice. Better than a sandwich. They got the char thing down. I'm gonna go home and make chicken calico, man. In the in the calico, there is an. I know they use lemon, onions, green onions. I don't see any peppers. But there's for sure a bite to it. There's no peppers. Interesting. Sometimes they put doni, which is basically peppers, the baby peppers. I think they're Thai peppers, but they call them doni. In Guam, or in the Marianas Islands, Saipan Dam. In the F and Denny sauce, there's no peppers either. Oh yeah, I think there is. Mostly just the lemon. But once you start dipping the sauce, you kind of want to dip everything in that sauce. <laughs> and then we have yam donuts. I never tried that before. I've tried mochi donuts. Not yam. I'm gonna finish off the rest of the plate.
I enjoy this immensely. I know a lot about the Guam culture, even though I'm from Hawaii. Say their barbecue is more barbecue than Hawaiian barbecue. There's more barbecue flavor. That's all she wrote. 